Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're starting a brand new travel journal series just like I did with my Spain, Morocco, and Portugal trip journals. This time, I'll be scrapbooking my 2017 trip to Taiwan. If you're looking for ideas on how to document the trip from years ago, you are in the right place. One of the most common concerns people have when starting a travel journal for an older trip is, where do I even begin? You might not have taken notes during the trip or maybe didn't capture enough photos. But don't worry, you're not alone. I'll show you how to work around those challenges and today's video will focus on how to prepare before jumping into the actual journal making. For my Taiwan trip, I didn't take any photos, but I did have a printed copy of our itinerary from the travel agency. This was a great starting point to help me remember what we did each day. From there, I matched my photos in Google Photos to the itinerary, and things started coming together. Google Photos Lens was another great tool. It helped me identify landmarks, restaurants, and even dishes that I did not remember clearly. This feature can be super helpful if you're missing specific details. Just scan your photos and it will help you provide information about the places you visited. If you don't have an itinerary, don't worry. There are other ways to recall your trip. You can use the timestamps in Google Photos or check your social media posts like Instagram or Facebook to see if you uploaded photos during the trip. Captions, comments, and tag locations can also jog your memory. What if you did not take enough photos or any photos at all during your trip? It happens, but that doesn't mean you cannot still create a beautiful journal. One tip is to use materials like brochures, maps, or ticket stubs that you might have picked along the way. These items can add a personal touch to your journal and even help fill in the gaps in your memory. You can also download free stock photos from websites like Pexels, Unsplash, and Pixabay. These offer high-quality travel photos that you can use to represent places or moments you may not have photographed. Just remember, while attribution is not always required on these sites, it's good practice to credit the photographers if you're posting your journal online. It's a respectful way to acknowledge their work. Once I gathered my photos and filled in the missing details, I started organizing them. To save space in my journal, I made tiny photo collages. If you want to know how I print these mini photos, check out my past video where I explain the whole process. I'll put the link on the screen in the description box below. Here's how the photos look after printing and cutting. To make things easier, when I'm ready to journal, I always write the date and place on the back of each photo. 
This way, I can quickly identify when and where each photo was taken without flipping through the itinerary repeatedly. Other tips for making journaling easier. First, reflect on emotional experience. Even if you don't remember every little detail, focus on how certain places made you feel. Were you excited, relaxed, or surprised? You can use colors, doodles, or even quotes to reflect the mood of the trip. Second, add maps. If you have maps from the trip, or can print them out, they can provide geographical context. You can trace your journey showing how you travel from one place to another. Third is ask yourself memory prompts. To help recall the details, ask questions like, what was my favorite part of the trip? Or what surprised me the most? This can spark memories you may have forgotten. And lastly, if you're short on time, focus on the highlights of the trip. You don't need to document every moment, just the key experiences that stood out. And that's it for today's video. This was just the preparation stage because in the next part of this travel journal series, we'll dive deeper into the actual journaling process and start assembling the pages. Do you have any tips for journaling past trips or any questions about today's video? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Also, don't forget to check out my travel journal playlist for more step-by-step -step guides and creative tips from my previous trips. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe for more creative journaling ideas. See you in the next video. Bye!